Welcome back to the State Farm 2023 APP U.S. Indoor Championships. Men's doubles winner's bracket final is on deck here on championship court, and it features that man. Rob Nunnery has eight APP gold medals so far this season. Vast majority of those coming with the man who's playing across the net from him, Andre Diascu. Seven of them. Diascu, 35 years old from Palm Beach, Florida. These two are quite the duo in men's doubles here on the APP Tour. Really hard to beat. Trying to do just that tonight are Anderson Scarpa and Mario Barrientos. You saw them just a few, well, About actually an hour hours and a ago. Half ago. Yeah. <laughs> an hour and a half ago, you saw Anderson Scarpa and Mario Barrientos punching their ticket here to men's doubles winner's bracket final. Anderson Scarpa, 30 years old, out of... Charleston, South Carolina, partnered up with Mario Barrientos for this tournament, 29-year-old out of Provo, Utah, talking with them after their last match. They said they've been really wanting to partner up for a long time. Last tournament of the year here on the APP Tour, they said, why not? Let's give it a shot. I say that shot has worked out pretty well so far. One game away from punching their ticket to a gold medal match here in Rosemont, Illinois, but... You mentioned just how many gold medals Diascu and Nunnery have. What do Barrientos and Scar Scarpa have to do to get the win? So what we call is uh, with Scarpa and Barrientos, we can call that that Greg Dow got Wally pipped. <laughs> Tell me you know who Wally Pip is. Who's Wally Pip? I know you know. Come on. You I'm, know. Not, I'm not jumping in on this. You know. Not your story. Well, we'll talk about it later. But anyway. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So here we are. Men's doubles. Winner's bracket final. Andre Diescu, originally from Romania. He and Rob Nunnery, like you mentioned, they've won seven gold medals in total. Four straight here yep. on the APP Tour. And Andre has already punched his ticket in mixed doubles for the gold medal match tomorrow. Would like to do so again here in men's doubles. After after the loss in Chicago by Nunnery and Diascu, they've they've pretty much been all business since. Yeah. It's been it's been very surgical. It's not funny anymore. No. It's, it was it's, like it's, it's been very surgical. <laughs> it was like I actually hate this feeling and I'd like to never do it again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mario Barrientos getting us started with the serve. Oh, <laughs> oh big man. <laughs> Scarpa just tried to get tiny right here. Watch his whole body like <laughs> constrict. Uh, just slight hesitation with the footwork there from Scarpa. Catches that backhand a little late, flattens out on him. So it'll be Rob Nunnery with the serve. All right, good spot. Pinning Diascu back at the baseline. Oh. A little miss hit right there from Barrientos. I asked them after they won their last match, what do you have to do in order to win against Diascu and Nunnery? They said two things. One, stay within ourselves. And two, get to the kitchen line quickly. Nunnery just getting a little too big right there on the counter. He's there all over it. Be a side out. Barrientos with the serve. <laughs> oh, can't use that left hand there. His ball gets past Scarpa. Barrientos not expecting it.
Oh, nice trigger pull there from Nunnery right at the left hip of Anderson Scarpa. Lights him up. You want to talk about all business. There was no hand up for Nunnery after that. No. Getting oh, slippery is Nunnery. Slippery little sucker down the line <laughs> right there from Nunnery. We've seen that four times now in the last two matches here on center court. Oh, make it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Almost. Got the double up there, though. So Diascu and Nunnery off to a 4 nothing lead here in... Game number one, still on their first serve. Rob, number, Rob Nunnery with it. Oh, yeah, good attack there from Diascu. Slides all the way over, speed up right at the body of Scarpa. Well, it's kind of that dead dink there from Barrientos where it's not really putting any pressure on, not doing much. Bounces in the kitchen, yes, but it sits up high. Diascu leaving that ball just a little short. 5-0-2. For the big man serve. Oh. <coughs> that time Scarpa going on the offensive, going back at Nunnery again and again until finally finds his feet, forcing the side out. Just a little too wide there. So Barrientos tried to do the same thing that Nunnery did to Scarpa as far as selling that down the line with the body, but just rushed it a little bit. Right, Nunnery does the same thing. Just a little wide, another look here. Oh, he pulled his body too quickly. Yeah. And so it ends up going off the edge of the paddle instead of the sweet spot of the paddle. Ooh. Wow, they have a spot on Scarpa that they have picked out. It's the, the, the yellow, <laughs> the orange crush yard sign that's yep. right there. Center mass. Diascu's gotten him a couple of times. So Barrientos and Scarpa get a point, but quickly have to give the ball back to Diascu and Nunnery. Rob Nunnery with the second serve here, trying to extend their lead. And almost got the crush yard logo again on his chest right there and fights it off with his paddle though but goes wide well the difference there in that hands exchange was nunnery was going to scarpa inside the body scarpa's going to nunnery a little bit wider allowing nunnery to get extended Damn. on the ball didn't quite tie him up Oh. Speed up there from Scarpa working out. Nice counter there from Scarpa going backside on Nunnery. Finds the sideline. This is going to be Scarpa with the serve, 2 6 1. A good attack there from Scarpa again. Stepping in, taking that ball early. Good shape on it, getting that drive down below the net. So that's all Nunnery and Dasku need. They just need to time you up. If yeah. they can time you up, they'll be fine. And it's exactly what they're starting to do right now. Nunnery getting, leaving his feet to finish that point off. Oh, 
inside out from Daescu. Beautifully done. He could easily overhit this. Sells it with the body as well. 7 3 1, the score for Nunnery serve. Wow, they're playing fast. Very well right now, Ardesco and Nunnery. Well, and Scapa and Barrientos are getting pushed further and further back, which is allowing Daesco and Nunnery to really keep that pressure on. Daesco misses one ball, and it's like the world is going to end that he's, that he's behind 3-8 right now. Yeah. Right away, Nunnery goes, my bad. Well, I guarantee <laughs> Probably not the right speed up at that moment. Nunnery's going to speed up from that same ball, but he's going to hit, he's going to make his adjustment and hit a different spot on Barrientos. Whereas previously we had seen five or six attempts to get through Barrientos and his backhand. That's just too good there from Nunnery as he reads where Scarpa is going to. On this speed up, you watch Scarpa, he's leaning to his left. So Nunnery knows the counter's got to go to the middle because that's the place and spot he's vacating. Barrientos with the strong overhead finisher yeah well, that was a it's kind of a half volley speed up right there catches Diescu still moving and it's elevated Diescu throws it right back at him so it'll be Diescu and Nunnery with a chance to extend their lead here 8-4-1 for Nunnery serve. Uh, Diascu is saying, nah, you got me once. <laughs> I'm just going to sit and read. You see Diascu takes about a step and a half back away from the kitchen line there. Gives himself plenty of time to counterattack. You know how they say fool me once? Shame, shame on, on you. you. Fool me twice, shame, shame on, on yeah. me. Andre Diascu does not strike me as somebody who ever has shame on me twice. <laughs> or fool me no. twice, I mean. Learns very quickly what went wrong. Fixes it. Big Good. part of the reason that he leads all APP men in medals this season. That's excellent spot there from Nunnery. Goes cross body on Scapa. Scapa tries to catch up to it, but just can't do it with the elevation and the pace on that forehand side. Still nobody. Wally Pip. Nobody. So it'll well, be he has to make it to Championship Sunday and get more than two points to be to okay. for Dow to be Wally Pip by Barrientos. Okay, talk later. <laughs> Game point on Championship Court here. Oh, Rob Nutter down. sneaks it inside. Are you kidding me? 11-4, the score of Game One. Diascu and Nunnery. You see Andre Diascu mouthing one more. That's all that stands between him and his partner, and another shot at the gold medal. We've got game two when we come back. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock absorbing foam and Skechers famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. Hey, Jake, you want to stay 
You know, it's really scary. Popcorn with no butter. No, getting insurance. I mean, what if the jargon makes me feel alone and in the dark? Hey, at State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. <laughs> Sorry. Is that seat taken? Get on up here, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Most water? Yeah, for my cup of ale. I saw. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. One of the great things about if you've had an injury is um, with the Illinois Bone and Joint Institute, there's 13 locations that do same day visits. They're called our ortho axis visits. Um, and you'll see an orthopedic specialist to help you sort these things out. We go through a stepwise evaluation process and that begins with what happened, how did we get here? And that often can tell you uh, a good deal of what you need to know. For more information, visit ibji.com. The APP is presented by Pro XR, C and D Nets, Discount Tire, and Sports Illustrated. Andre Deescu and Rob Nunnery, one game away from punching their ticket to another gold medal match. They've won four straight men's pro doubles titles together. <coughs> Getting us started here is Nunnery. Oh, Scarpa just trying to make something happen right here, but it's there. It is, but just rushes it. It's that that quick, quick flick. It's just such a good setup because. Deescu reads Nunnery going to speed that up down the line, so he sits in the middle. If the counter comes to the middle like it did right there from Scarpa, he's there. Oh, my That's goodness. Number six. That shot, it's like a patented but Rob Nunnery shot. Nunnery, no emotion. Deescu, huge fist pump. Yeah. But the difference, you know, Nunnery, Nunnery missed the last one. Oh, he got it. It's in. Oh. <laughs> the change of pace. Nunnery <laughs> was doing circles there at one point. That's what I was pointing at. <laughs> he was he spun around like a top. 0-3-1, the score for Barrian to serve. Oh, Dalescu with the speed up off the backhand. The, the only time... It, he really goes two-handed on that backhand as the speed up, but even though you know it's coming, he picks a spot really well. So very quick side out here. Diasco and Nunnery with the chance to extend this lead. That ball sailing just a little bit long. Take another look at it here. Can't tell from that camera angle. It was close though. So it's a four nothing lead here. Another look. Slippery little ball. It got just underneath over the paddle. Oh, that way, AJ. Drop in that slippery little <laughs> ball. <laughs> <laughs> we keep saying it about nunnery shots. She needed to get one in. Oh, there. that ball's just wide. Scarpa doubling up down the line. Can't be too far, yeah. About an inch, a couple of inches wide. C 
see Varientos and Scarpa getting up to the kitchen line very quickly here in this second game. <coughs> Definitely what the strategy was for them coming in, how they thought they would be able to throw Diascu and Nunnery off their game, but right now, not working. It's just so good to have a partner and they have that in each other. Dasco and Nunnery knowing that if the other speeds up, the other's ready He's for ready the counter. ready for it, yeah. That's exactly what happened there. Dasco speeds up and Nunnery's ready for the counter. Well, you know, Barrientos and Scapa are choosing decent balls to speed up. The issue is, however, is that they're hitting linear balls or down up. So it's making it a little bit easier for Diascu and Nunnery to counterattack. That backhand just pushed into the net. Need to get a little bit more elevation to then be able to get the second ball to hit down on. <coughs> Scarpa thought he was in the kitchen after that volley. He stopped. No, he missed it. He stayed yeah. out. He thought he was in, though. <laughs> he's like, what's going on? Point over, point not. Actually, he was in the kitchen because his momentum never stopped by the time he turned around and went in. But <laughs> just That shot is just too good right now from Nunnery. He's got it dialed in, and we've seen him at times not dialed in on that yeah. shot. Right now, he is. Well, the thing is, he's selling it with the body, but the movement, other than the one he missed wide down the line in game one, the movement isn't until the point of contact. If you try to move too soon or, or sell it too much with the body, then, like you said, it starts so rolling missed, down yeah. the paddle or you get too extended. So now there's too much shape on it. You want something that is either going to curl back in or kind of just float down the line. And so Diascu and Nunnery slowly but surely building up a 9 nothing lead here in game number two. They sit just two points away from punching their ticket to tomorrow's gold medal match in men's double. Barrientos and Scarpa calling the timeout on the court to try and do something to shake up the momentum here that Diascu and Nunnery have built. Tall task ahead of them. Dom, where does it start? Well, again, they need to get into points right now, and they need to stop Dayescu and Nunnery from being the aggressors. And how do you do that? you got to get balls at their feet. You're just allowing Dayescu and Nunnery to dictate pace, and how are they doing that? Because you're leaving balls up for them. Nunnery can't attack that ball down the line like that if the ball is low. Well, there's got, there needs to be a little bit more penetration on Correct. the dinks. Right now, they're, they're kind of those dead dinks or, or something that's not really pushing Nunnery or Dayescu back. Yep. And so there's just nothing there. And they need to do something with those to not allow them to attack. So Andre Diascu and Rob Nunnery with the serve. Nine zero one for Diascu's serve. Got jammed up just enough, did Dasku on his right foot right there. But that's a There's better ball. Better it's a ball. little bit deeper. Right. Yo, nobody said a dink has to land in the kitchen. Best dinks don't. But it does have to land near the kitchen. <laughs> at least, the, at least, it's, at least a foot if, within the kitchen if line. Not, it's a drive. <laughs> same, same, but different. Match point opportunity here for Rob Nunnery and Andre Dasku. Uh, Dasku decelerated a little bit that he's up 10-0. Up <laughs> he's so and, mad. And mad. So mad at himself. Oh, oh, AJ. AJ. Oh, my gosh. It was so close. You so fumbled the only bad. opportunity we've had Fumble in the booth. I believe you. The kid Fumble behind us like got it. feels like a really strong word. No, that was, that was. You flat out missed it. Yeah. I mean, I did miss it. I didn't fumble it. Well, Very you didn't different. catch it. Right. But fumbling implies that you had it and then lost it. Eh, that's never true. Had it. You never had it. Exactly. I'll take that. It was out of reach the entire time. No, no, no. You just didn't have it. <laughs> anyway, 
That is a <laughs> back on the court. <laughs> quick side out here to Dash doing nunnery. <laughs> Quarterback error on that one. Rob Nunnery, another chance to put this match away. And oh, he does. Not the way you want to finish it. So it is Andre Diascu and Rob Nunnery with the chest bump to make it official. They are on their way to another men's doubles gold medal match. Championship Sunday awaits them, but not before. We hear from the winners when we come back on ESPN+. Plus. from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped. Suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. family to yours. Find cured meats we've been crafting since 1902. Our secrets are simple. Care comes from the time it takes to do things right. Character comes from the hard work and determination it takes to make it. Craft comes from the traditions passed down over four generations. Delicious doesn't need to be complicated. That's the Balti way. We're passion and love going to everything we do. From John and Armando and Lorenzo and Gianna. From our family to yours. We started this mission in tennis about five years ago. We've been perfecting our craft and our tools. We now see a phenomenal opportunity to take all that and bring it into pickleball to support an emerging ecosystem that's booming. And it's a super complimentary partnership for us with the experience and the existing events that are up and running, the recreational element of APP. It's a fantastic one plus one is going to equal four. So we're thrilled to be partnering with APP. And we take another look at match point for Rob Nunnery and Andre Diascu. Moving on to their 10th championship Sunday. This time taking down <laughs> Mario Barrientos and Anderson Scarpa. Dominic Catalano is courtside with Rob and Andre. All right, Rob and Andre, one more time here. First and foremost, another championship Sunday, but the last one of the 2023 season. What does that also mean to you guys? You know, this, it's been so fun battling with him all, all year, honestly. And uh, today was all about energy. We tried to come out with energy. And when Andre uses his link like that for penetration, no one's safe. And then Andre, again, same to you. 2023 playing with this guy. It's been great. What's it mean to you to finish on a strong note here? Moving on to Championship Sunday with him once again. I got to choose my words very carefully after the last interview, but, uh, it, it, you know, it means the world to me. We really had a good year together. Uh, I've really enjoyed competing alongside Rob. We're planning on competing again in 2024. Uh, but it, it, it would be great to be able to go out on top and, and get another gold medal. You know, we, we won the last few tournaments together. And uh, kind of like he said, just the energy is there. You know, we're, we're both competing hard. We, you got to look in their eyes. So it's, it's just... It's just a lot of fun and just very happy to be getting another championship Sunday with Rob. All right, well, congratulations, guys, to you, Rob, Andre. Back to you guys in the booth. 